These are Ray-Bans with prescription lenses in them, only recently replaced. Why were they on the motorway and how did they fare? I'll tell you shortly. Well, another moving day after a very exciting Hungarian Grand Prix and I actually, hello. Hello, hello mate. <laughs> I actually checked in at Hotel Moments I only stayed one night and ended up moving over here because a lot of the drivers were staying here in slightly nicer property. So we're moving from the Kempinski to Croatia. Uh, and I think we'll probably end up down on the Adriatic coast somewhere. Not sure yet, but come with me and enjoy the journey. This is my wife. Hello, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina. Thank well you. done. You'll be on my blog. What I've noticed here in Budapest, that there are a lot more female fans than in other countries and, and a younger demographic as well. Are you waiting for drivers? Yes. Who are you waiting for? Carlos <laughs> We just came here maybe uh, 10 minutes ago. But they are certainly enthusiastic and they queue up for hours in the hope to meet their driver and some do get lucky. We've headed off in the Renault Capture, about 100 kilometres we've done this morning from Budapest towards the Croatian border. But our sat-nav keeps telling us that the um, road is blocked for 2 hours and 20 minutes. Okay, they're not in your hat. It's 12 minutes after I just did that last piece of voicing at the servo and I now can't find my sunglasses so I had them back there and took them off to do that bit to camera so I think I've left them on the roof and hopefully they've fallen off and not been driven over so we're gonna have to go back there now they're prescription sunnies as well not only essential but very expensive to replace and they don't appear to have a scratch on them. That is very lucky. That was very fortunate, I know. That is them. No scratches on them, no cars ran over them. And luckily they ended up on the very right hand side. If they'd been another half a meter out towards the middle of the road, they would have been run over many times, but they're as new, I think. Absolutely as new, so let's go. Where are you going? We're going to uh, split. Yep. Yes, there's mine. That was simple and quick. We uh, rolled up at the Hungarian side, the guy in the box where he sits all day, uh, asked for our passports and we gave them. He stamped them and then he got out of his box and went next door, which is probably a meter apart, and crossed the border to the Croatian side and handed our passports to that woman. And she was having a lovely chat with her friend and eventually got around to asking us for our PCR tests. Mine was digital and I can't believe she looked at any of the details on there and um, just simply handed the phone back very quickly and Tonya's was a little bit longer and then it was ushered straight into Croatia. We're 30 k's into Croatia and just the scenery all around us is markedly different than that in Hungary. It just seems it'll be uh, a lot more lush. It's funny having been in Budapest for five days where no one wears masks inside or out and you get to see everyone's face, suddenly we're back here in Croatia where you have to wear masks inside, outside you're okay though. I'll come and do it. Should have married a real man. Just for the record, Kim's very good with a camera, but he's not very good with anything else. Thank you. Bye bye. Quarter to eight, and I reckon we have been on the road for about seven hours. And we arrive to this perfect place, which I think is Opatia. And this is the Bavanda Hotel Restaurant and Bar. Looks pretty good so far.
There's a door broken. Okay. This will be your room for two days. <laughs> It's great to be back in Croatia. It's such a lovely country and the scenery on the drive from the Hungarian border to where we are here on the Adriatic coast is absolutely stunning. Sometimes I think uh, we're in Austria with the, the trees and the mountains and all that lovely white fluffy cloud rolling in. And if you go to eat at the Bavanda restaurant, you'll be very impressed with the menu. Look at that, it's like a, a work of art. Well, it is a piece of art on the front. Beautiful restaurant right over the water. And tonight, when there is no breeze, it's pretty special. Two great things about this hotel. One, the air conditioning. You can get it down to about 21 degrees. Two, the fridges. They actually get your beverages cold. So many hotel fridges struggle. I'm certainly glad that one of my F1 photography colleagues suggested I come to Opatia for the few days before we were going to head off on this cruise. And it is fantastic. Weather is perfect. The water is just beautiful in the bay. I think I can say I'm now a big Opatia fan. This is the Hotel Milani. We're just checking in. We've been at the other one for two nights and now we're here. And Nicolina. You're famous. You're famous. You're famous. Well, you will be now. <laughs> this is Nicolina. She's running the front office. <laughs> and this is Alan. Hi. Tonya's already into the free chocolates. Haven't had lunch. What are they like? Oh, good. How many square meters? 28. I and think. what was the last one? Mm. Got to be 50. Yeah, I think so. That's where I'll be editing a video or two. In fact, there's one you're watching will be edited there. I bet their mini bar's not as cold as the last place. No, it is. It is cold. And they've put all of our luggage in here already, isn't that lovely? How about these lights in this parking garage? That's pretty flash. What is certainly evident here is that there aren't many people adhering to the wear your mask, stay two meters apart. They're pretty relaxed about the whole thing. And I understand that there are no cases in Opatia. Although I did see a queue of people this morning lining up to get vaccinated. And it appears it doesn't matter where you're from, they will vaccinate you, no questions asked. Good on you, Croatia. These days we all travel with electronics, and that often means cables. So when I got hold of this cable with these two extra adapters, I was in awe of it. This is from Merlin. It effectively turns one cable into four different cables. I never travel anywhere without it. This is the restaurant at the Hotel Mulaney and it is very impressive. Perfect temperature, there's no breeze. Not the cheapest meal you'll find in town, but I'm expecting something special. I'm about to sit down to lunch here at the Hotel Mulaney, so I'm gonna say thank you for watching this video. And remember, you can get all of my F1 images at ProStarPix.com. If you've liked the video, don't be shy, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so for more regular videos on F1 and traveling the world with F1. You'll find my F1 photo books at kimillman.com along with a whole host of merchandise. And for my best images live from the track and all during the week, head to Instagram at kimillman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate.